What's going on, guys? Welcome to another another uh, another the first uncommon cube draft here on uh, swolmike.com slash uh, drunk internet dot com mike dot net. What are we? I I've never even seen this yeah. cube, so I have no idea what's in it. This yeah, is insane. We were on break, and I was like, "What archetype are we?" I have do? no idea. So Palace Jailer is really strong, and uh, Putrefy sticks out. To me, I don't even I don't know what Palace Jailer is. Oh, this guy. Yeah, oh, he draws oh, cards. Oh, the Monarch seems yeah. legit, dude. Yeah, everything else just seems kind of. They, but they have abilities. Angler Drake. Do we say Angler Drake? Drake is pretty good too. Ingester so. is hilarious because this was a rare. This just feels like a better Angler Drake. Like instead of instead of uh, it's got evasion though. Four four flyers in limited are always right, but this just eats anything. It eats their best guy forever. Putrefy also good, but two colors. Yeah, here's the other thing I like actually. Um, the fact that if we're going blue, there's actually a couple of good. There's a blue removal. Signet here. might just be the pick. We got six seconds. Okay, pick one. Signet. You want signet? Palace Shiller. I signet. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this was. I think this is safest. Yeah, of course it is. Um, I like this cue already because there's cards like Prophetic Bolt. Which are actually rares, but they're in here because they were reprinted on common at certain points. So you have cards that are really strong like this, but then you also have cards that Fires are like of kind Yavimaya of like Yavimaya sweet, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Fires of Yavimaya, sweet, dude. <laughs> I kind of like this. It's it's not that bad. It's any color. Yeah. It's it's. I mean, that's pretty strong. Yeah. Each player loses a life. Okay. And then you get a one four that has oh uh, you're just reading the card now i thought you were okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh i see you're just you're literally just reading the card i gotcha i gotcha all right 90 bits mike and cube my one fave thing and then a swole dude i don't <laughs> so, oh swole mike and cube my one favorite thing and then a swole dude okay fragments open i like bolt i like remand but that's five to do four remand seems terrible in this set wait this is five to do four but then you also impulse you know that oh right? uh, that's true i thought it was just to look at the top four and scry like oh no you literally draw that one. seems good get it okay <laughs> get it get it do it do it now get it all right so right now we're aiming for grixis cards. i have to read a lot of these cards yeah too. no joke look at the top two cards of your library for one in your hand and the other on the bottom i actually don't mind this because it because the rebound oh effort it's effort we're in blue I actually don't like this card. That what? Great. Three for five for three? It never ends up making the cut in regular cube. Maybe it's better in this cube. What? 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 <laughs> what? Well, you don't like Bomat Bazaar? All right, barge? time out. Time out, dude. Ongoing investigation is actually a pretty good card. If we got to be green, though. Sure. Well, you don't have to, I guess. No, not to get the actual benefit. But I, I like Efreet. How much are we attacking? I like Efreet. You call it Efreet? Efreet. Yeah, not a freet. Efreet. I call it Efreet with the with the eat, but you call it Efreet. Efreet? Yeah, because your single E, why does it make the same whale? Why does it make the same whale? I don't know. That's In a good question. Rock, so cool. Cinder Barons. Cinder Barons seems good. I wonder how much fixing we're going to need in this cube. Well, we know we have all the Signets. We have all the, the dual lands. We have all of them? Well, we've already seen two. We don't have those, though. No, but I'm saying... You were saying, I wonder how much is in the cube. So I was saying we... As in the cube. Oh, the royal we. The cube we. Because yes. we're part of the cube. We are. Interesting. We are now a part of the cube. I think Officially. him is pretty good. This is seems... This seems really strong compared to, like, Falconrath Noble or Longfin Sky Whale. Uh, you know what's funny about him is in Limited, it's actually better the longer you wait to cast it. Well, because yeah, because the, they have the stronger cards. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, generally, the I'll double black him. is the downfall to it. Orzhov Signet. Signet seems super strong. And there's a Mortify. I'm just going to take the Signet, right? I mean, we're ramping ourselves. Why not? What does a Researcher do? Uh, it's just a 3-2 it's a Flyer. And then if uh, if you put an Instant Sorcery in your graveyard, it becomes a 5-4. Eh. I don't like milling myself in Limited. Put, sure. I don't want to put the top card of my library in my graveyard okay. every single turn. Forsaken Sanctuary. Processed, Possessed Scob. Scabe, this is just Modok, right? From uh, from Mark Modok or Arnim Zola, which are basically the same character. That's not a bad card. Really. Return an instant sorcery from your graveyard hand. What else do we have here in this? Instant sorcery, a creature card. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, this is probably the pick. It is five mana three two though. But it's not. It's not just a three two. Yeah, I mean, it gets a, it's a grave digger. It's a grave digger that gets an instant sorcery or creature back. Sure, that's pretty insane. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, do a, do do your do your prophetic bolt. Grab the scab. Scab. Grab back the bolt. That's pretty good. Oh, double bolts. Yeah. Dubs bolts. Oh, we got we got uncommon fetch lands in this bad boy. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Sacrifice creature other than demonic taskmaster. You can GTFO, bro. This card was actually very very good in Oath of the Gate. Uh, not Oath of the Gate Crash. Gate. Those gate, kind of, gate crash? Gate crash, yeah. Those okay. kind of effects are pretty good. I, think I don't know that, if it's going to be green and cute. I think we just want this, though, right? What are we ramping to, though? Well, you don't know. You don't have to know in your first yeah. four picks. Sure, I know that, but... <laughs> I, I, know, I but, knew but, that. But I think that the I think the neg one is very relevant. But how many five drops do we want? That's true, too. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this is I'm just... Down. All right. I'm down. Oh, this is a six drop. I thought this was the four mana one. You thought it was Prophetic Prism? Or, I mean... Um, he's drawn. He's drawn he, Archive. He's drawn Archive, yeah. Nope. Yeah, oh well, that's what happens. Submerge Boneyard. Cloud form's pretty good. Uh, becomes an aura enchant. The it's just a two-two for three, right? Yeah, with hexproof and flying. Well, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. What about Knuckle of V? I don't know what the hell that is. Mm. It sounds like you made that up. When it enters the battlefield, you may return a red sorcery card from your graveyard in your hand. When it enters the battlefield, you may return a blue instant card from your hand. You get both effects. That's, that's it's even literally better than the five, five, five drop. Which got kind of. It's a better body. It costs one more, and you get two cards. Yeah, I think we want the Knuckle of V. The Adder of the Boneyard. Hey, Frank, I had to leave and I just got back. Why does the description say drafting with Rob? That guy behind you is Swole Mike. Okay. That's a good point, actually. I'll change it. Swole Mike. Uh, Gargantuan seems good. I feel like everyone on the stream who drafts with me loses their identity. Yeah, we've become someone else. Mike is Mitch Barbobbly Boo. This is... Or, or Drunk Robert. Yeah. This is Swole Mike. Oh, I'm Drunk Mike. I like... I actually... Oh, yeah, you're right. He's Sober Robert. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I get that confused. Dude, this is actually... You're going to take the Ingester? Over what? Gargantua? Well, that means a draw two, but this rea just, this reality just... shift is unconditional. Reality shift. But we have so much... No. Okay, yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no I, I didn't know if you knew which one I was talking about. I did, I did. Okay. Um, what does this do? Plus two, plus two, and sacrifice two other creatures to regenerate? So mm. it's just plus two, plus two, and flying. Well, flying, yeah. It's not terrible. No. Reassembly skeleton's probably pretty good, though. Blocks forever. I don't think we're playing anything else from what here. What does Oracle do? It's literally just a 4-4 four, four flyer. Uh, choose an opponent if that player has more cards in hand. Draw equal to the difference. Still 7. Though. I don't think they're going to have... Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to have more. I like, I like Skeleton. I actually like this cube a lot, too. I'm actually... This is a... This is pretty okay so far. I guess it's probably just last breath. We have the Orzhov Signet. Maybe we... Just get in there. Maybe we get in there. Maybe we do get in there. What is that? Oh, Cinder Barons. That's a good one. That was a great one. Told you we had it. I'll take you. Cat wizards. Oh. oh, we got that one too. No one values the lands, man. It's actually pretty good. It's very good. Wow. Everything, came back. Yes. Everything we wanted. So our colors are open here. Oh, this is yeah. All, yeah, our four color blue deck all is definitely open. Colors. Yeah. <laughs> and the artifacts. And the artifacts. Guess. <laughs> Guess. Uncommon cube. They product. don't lose identity. They gain so much more from chat. That's true. They actually gain identities. That's actually a good way of looking at it. You were that was a real half glass, half full. And I'm a real glass half empty. Icy manipulator. Is there an icy? Ooh, that yeah. seems good. Swords. I don't want to be. I don't want to main this though. Like yeah. I don't want to be main white if we don't have to be. But <sighs> icy icy manipulator is just a good card. It is. We also Especially wanna... limited. Mono red is in this cube. Sweet, I drafted. All right, that's a good to know. Yeah. Mono red is honestly in every cube. Also, floodplain's pretty okay. Yeah. But the problem is, there's not going to be any dual lands um, in this, so you're that always you going to get basic. You're fetching a yeah. basic, yeah. I like manipulator. I do too, actually. We don't have any four drops, anyways. Your mom's a four drop, but she's not in our deck right now. Exactly. Eggs. Go back, I mean, is our are we I red? I want my beetle back, beetle back, beetle back, beetle back. Are we red or are we Esper? Oh, we're, we're definitely oh, red. Okay. Oh, we're de there's we have no incentive not to play this with the Cinder Baron. Sky Barons. Diamond. I was thinking that. Oh, Supreme Will actually seems really good too. You don't like Mortar Pod? No, no, I do not. What about Raph? I, I love Raph. You know, I love Raph. I do, but there's no. There no, we're definitely not playing Raph. But I'm I'm saying you. Don't I mean, if we had him, we'd play him. Would you play? So I like I like Beetleback. Beetleback Chief is pretty. Just snap like pickable to me. This guy's pretty good. Yeah, I think Beetleback. I don't want to be double red though. Yeah, like, that, that was my point. That's yeah. why I was asking. If, and Sky Diamond's not bad either. Well, this is a two-two that makes two one ones. This is an O-one that makes two one ones. Like, yeah. I think the difference is fine. And like this guy's. And we could use a three drop. I don't know. It's, it's either that or, or Supreme Will. To me, I mean Sky Diamond's also a pick. 
Yeah. I agree. It's one of these two. Yeah. Or I wonder if this guy's any good. We don't have anything to combo with him, so. I mean, I, it just says draw cards on him, though, right? That's true. It's Mirror Guild Mage cards. Yeah, I think it's Mirror Guild Mage. That's I actually true. like that a That's lot. True. Doomfall seems okay. Doomfall seems pretty okay. I read Landscape's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. How do you feel about that card? I feel the same way. It's not bad at all. It isn't bad. Franken, Franken swole my ASMR. <laughs> Is it Doomfall? I don't think we need this. We have a lot of card advantage right now. Yeah. Like, I think we actually want more instants and sorceries I to like do- Yeah, I was thinking combo. about that too for the Knuckle View when we read it. I like Doomfall. We also do... This is a red sorcery, right? Yeah, we have to return a red sorcery and a blue instant, so we have to keep that in mind. Ah. Or else Knuckle might not get Moss Diamond. God, this art's great. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm waiting. Nozumi Grave Robber is actually pretty relevant and limited. limited. I'm not so sure if that's true. You don't think so? The ability to flip it seems pretty simple. What about Inferno Jet? <laughs> Augur of Bolas isn't bad. Augur of your... No, not anybody, guys. Mom... Bolas is... Huh. <sighs> There's really nothing else in here. Chalice could be good. We do have a lot of we, But we cards. do have two Signets and a Dreamstone Hedron already. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I want to overload on, on that kind of... Uh, Bogger is a... Or, Augur... <laughs> Bogger. Bogger. Augur of Bolas is a good blocker. Like, that's a good dude. That's that's card advantage in the card and a good blocker. We just don't have that many spells yet, is my yeah. concern. Oh, God. It's going to be Augur. Whatever. <laughs> Deep analysis. So good. Oh, wow. I didn't even recognize the yeah, art. Yeah, so good. Yeah, I think that's probably... That's definitely that's a pick. snap. Um, Simic Signet. Got that five color. Watch us get blown out because everything is aggro in this... Like, we're picking all these slow cards and we should run over. Uh, Cone of Flame should prevent that. And it's a red sorcery. You mean the five drop? Fight with fire as well. Uh, Fight with fire goes to the face. Fight with fire fits our deck perfectly, actually. Actually, that's pretty uh, good. Also, rate's pretty good too. Um, no, I like I like fight with fire a lot better. Okay. True. Sure. Yeah, I like, like fight with being fire. able to kick this seems super easy. Yep, I'd kick it. Yeah, but Augur of Bolas is look at the, the bottom three cards of your library, one hundred percent. So red red sorcery, right? Fight with fire, red sorcery. Wonder. I wah, wah. Eh, this is actually a this is a control magic. This is actually not bad. It's expensive though. Like what two drop are we gonna get that's gonna be worth it or three drop, you know what I mean? So we get a four drop for seven mana? Yeah. I mean that's not terrible. Gift of Orzova is not nothing to mess with either, but I don't think that's the kind of deck we're playing. We have eight creatures already? I guess we do. It's a blue instant, actually. Dominates an instant. That actually does seem pretty good. Oh, that actually is good. It's better yeah. with Knuckle V2. Yep. Yeah, all right. That's that's That actually... That, that incentivizes us to dominate a, a two-drop, actually. <laughs> okay, well, when Just... you say it like that, it sounds weird. <laughs> I'm incentivized to dominate this two-drop. Your two-drop is dominated. You have been dominated. Good lord. This is amazing. I will get stronger and dominate your four-drop. I thought that was your phone, and I was like, are you going to chew on your phone? I didn't chew. I was drinking. How many phones do you have right now? Robert has literally two phones out right now on the desk. Both of these are his. <laughs> he has two phones that just came out. And this is my phone over here, so I have no idea why he has so many phones. Oh. So, oh, that's Oh, that's, that's your boy. That's everything we want. Yeah, that's... Death Touch, like, that's everything we want. Like, Mindstone's gas, too. No way. Not nearly as good as no strikes, way. obviously, but mine sounds a good card. I can't believe Drug Robert... dealer confirmed. We got Walter White over here. Robert, do you have a second cell phone? A second cell phone? What? <laughs> Why would I have that? This is this is good removal, but it's like, I don't want to proliferate. That's pretty good. When it dies, you can put three 1-1 one, one counters on a land. This is just a 3-4 flyer that makes another 3-3. Three, three. Mm-hmm. That's not that great, then. I mean, it's either that or it's spread, right? Spread is not anything we can get back unless we're using the scabs. So. I think it's just Cyclone Sire. Sure. It's fine. Oh, this guy came back. This guy's fine. I'm down with that. It's just another dude to get back with Possessed Scab. It's three blockers, which is relevant. Mm-hmm. Wow, the, the green is just... Mm-hmm. Not what, like, what are people drafting? Think about all the cards we're getting late. Like, what are, what are people actually taking is what I'm wondering. 
Because look how much blue we have, and they're not. It's not crap. We're not forcing blue. Right. And, and like you said, green is everywhere. I have an article up on uh, CNN.com. It's titled "Millennials Born in 1980s May Never Recover from the Great Recession," and I was like, "Oh, I got to check this out." Grave robber. I think you only like it because it sounds like Grave Robber. It's a good card, dude. I just got a third pick Demonic Tutor in my first pack. What is this cube? That's weird because that has to be one of the strongest cards in this cube. Uh, That's actually not bad. What, the Unflinching Courage? Yeah. No, 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 no. The Gnarled Scar. Really? Scar. Well, it's a 2 1 for 1, first of all. It's like old Mango. Yo, why would you do that? What was it, the other one? It, it, it oh, was a Ruined Servitor. Servitor. Who cares about that? Let them play it, and I'll draw the card. Wait a minute, isn't it, isn't it a 1-2 two for 2 that says whenever it dies, you draw a card? It says both players draw a card, doesn't it? It, it has to, yeah, it has to. It would have been taken away before that. Otherwise, I would have played it 1,000%. Each player draws a card, yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. This card was amazing in Oath of the Gate Crash Limited. Yeah. Rocky Tarpit searches for two lands. Air Servant's very good. Jace's Ingenuity. I kind of like the Thalid, too. So Sooth's hair. Really? We don't have that many creatures, though. Yeah. Well, We, we do have this guy. Yeah, I was going to say. It's not non Oh, Resembling Skeleton, too. Yeah. Yeah, but you saw you can't regenerate it. What do you mean? You can't regenerate it. You don't. You return it to the battlefield. Oh, what? Yeah, this is the one that you pay, too. You bring it to the back from that's, the graveyard. That's great. That's a combo. I thought it was the regenerate one. We have too many five drops. I agree. I think we definitely need a four drop. Um, is it just the Thalid? Could also be Rocky Tar Pit. Yeah, that's true. Just an easy fix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the Thalid will probably come back. I'll just take the Rocky Thal Tar Pit. The Thalid probably will come back. You're right. It's first pack. Arc Lightning seems good. Nice it's also whisper. a sorcery for our Knuckle of E. Propaganda Chup seems good. Yeah, Propaganda is always great. Wow. But uh, Chupacabra seems really good too. Propaganda. This pack is great. I like Arc Lightning, Propaganda, and Ravenous Chupacabra. Good lord. Uh, Consigned to Oblivion is actually not bad either. I don't think it's as good as Propaganda or Avatar Supercover or That Arc may come back because it's double colored, actually. You guys um, think it's Troops over Propaganda? I think it's Chupacabra over Propaganda, too. As a matter yeah. of fact, I actually like Arc, Arc Lightning better than Propaganda, too. I also think Light. I think Lightning is very, very good. I think um, we need the four drop, though. And a dude. We can also get it back with Possessed Scob. Yeah. Which is pretty, pretty relevant. Yeah, all right. We'll take Chupacabra. Oh, go for the throats of gas. Look, enthralling Victor. Victor? <laughs> Victor? Victor, is that you? Gets back an instant. Your mom gets back an instant. It's got to be go for the throat, right? What What gets back an instant? Uh, The vexing scuttler. The thing you were highlighted over when I said it. The bottom one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Instant or sorcery. Mm. But it, it's, it does sacrifice either weapon craft enthusiast or ravenous chupacabra. Mm -hmm. big, so it costs seven, so it costs body. four mana for this guy or three mana for this guy. Yeah, but are we really passing up go for the throat? <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of removal. Scuttler will come back. Like, that's got to come back, right. right? I'm going to trust that it will come back. Well, this is also 23 cards already. Yeah. Well, we definitely need to cut a five drop. Far and, go, far and away. That's another five drop. Gas. There's some good cards in this. Do we just play him to Torok and to Stupor? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, what? What happened? Where did my hand what go? Happened? Opulent Palace could be good. It's a dual land. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, we pass on Nomad's Outpost. It's the same thing. You didn't even say anything. Well, no, because we don't have any white spells yet. Nomad's Outpost is literally... Oh, it's black-red. You're yeah. right. Yeah, all right. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say anything. I was like, Whatever. Just because I didn't say anything then doesn't mean it's not valid now. I, I like Far and Away. Make me feel far and away. This is like two cards. This is a five drop, though. I never want to unplay. I never want to play it for one. Do we just want this two two? That's for four? not bad, actually. Actually, either. I like that. Yeah, that's blockers for days. Yeah, I'm okay with that yeah. guy. Oh, skin red. Oh, Gelectrode. Gelectrode's pretty good, dude. Yeah. Whenever you cast an instant, guns happen. Deals one to uh, any target, so it does target the face. Uh, murder's cut and skin render. Skin render is a really good four drop. Yeah, we already have Ravenous Chupacabra. We have a lot of removal. We have Go for yeah, the Throat, removal, right? Downfall, Ravenous Chupacabra, Prophetic Bolt, Dominate. Geo Electrode's not bad, actually. 
I like this because it's also just a, kind of a win condition. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the whole um, passing time, so having a G Electrode on board going tap one damage to you. We also have a lot of spells in this deck. Yeah. Memorial's also not bad either. I like that. Skin Render is so good. It's totally a fly right here. What'd you pick? G Electrode. Oh, okay. Oh, Lightning. oh, Crumbling oh, Necropolis, right? That. It's yeah, gotta be our three color that. land. Yargle. There is a Yargle here. I don't think it was an easy render. Um, it, it, it was an easy pick if you had no deck. I think because of what we had, it wasn't an easy skin render. <laughs> Calico skin render witch. That's a good, that's a good dude. The old skin render witch. Um, Swiftfoot Whirler Maker. None of these cards are any good. Yeah, nothing is. Nothing here is playable. The imp is a flyer. That's oh, it can't block though. Yeah. Yeah. So just Swiftfoot boots. Yeah, actually, this could be good. This could be a wing con. Making a guy every turn is not terrible. This card could be a win condition in our sideboard. Arcane Sanctum seems good. Put our creature from graveyard on the battlefield under your control against haste. Sure, that's fine. And it has basic land cycle. Spontaneous combustion as initial cost. Sack a dude. Deals three to each creature. Mm. Sigiled starfish is actually not bad. <laughs> no, scrying every turn is pretty good. <laughs> and it's a tap scry. Is this is Arcane play. Sanctum, though, for our colors? Are I think we it really playing is. white? What white are we playing? Um, Well, none, but it's still a <laughs> blue-black dual land, so I don't know. Like, we have a lot of, like, double black, double blue. How much fixing do we have currently? Like, literally. So one, a, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, but this doesn't count. I didn't count that. Okay, so we have... These are blue-black, though. These are black-red, though. Sure. Okay. Look, Thal Thal the, the Thalid Thuth there came back. Thalid Autocrat and a Thalid's pretty good. We also have to make, like, three cuts right. Two cuts right now. Mm -hmm. I don't like Augur of Bullis. I'm, I'm down with the cards. It. It's fine. Cards literally poop. I, I think we can cut Orzhov Signet. If we're not playing white. Yeah, but isn't Orzhov Signet? Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. You're right. It's just this guy, right? Uh, it's either that or Air Servant, but I, I like Suits Air. Actually, this guy has Undying. That's yeah. actually pretty good. Oh, I didn't know yet. Yeah, but we can't pump him. Why not? It's black. It's black. We, yeah. we, ha we don't have black mana in we our blue-black black deck? We black mana, but you know what I mean. I don't, actually. I have no idea what you mean. We can totally pump this guy. It costs black mana. We have a black deck. True. What did, what did you mean? Well, because we're not... We, we're At most, we'll have, like... Two black sources on the battlefield, probably when we're casting it. That's my point. And it's a 1-1. One, one. What'd you pick? Pick something quick. I didn't pick anything. That one. Yes. All right. I told you to come back. Maybe we cut the Dreamstone heater on, actually. Mm -hmm. We're not going anything bigger. You want these? Oh, actually, Marsh Casualties is good. Yeah, that's target player, isn't it? Uh, it is if you kick it. Okay. Oh, no, it's actually, it is. It's always, yeah, but it's, it's negative one, negative one for two, and then it's negative two, negative two for five. That seems pretty good. Stupor. Oh, Vivid Marsh is great. That's, that's ramp. Did you just touch my foot with your shoe? Did I? Didn't mean to. I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Because well, I have a shoe. Do it again. See what happens. No, the Eldrazi did not wheel, despite what Robert uh, promised, <laughs> promised that it would. This deck seems wonky. Wonky? Wonky. I, I don't. We don't know the format. You know what I mean? This deck seems like everything I want to be doing in Magic: casting spells, killing creatures, drawing cards. Everything I want. You cut Stupor. Really? Mm -hmm. Him into Stupor doesn't seem really good. Doomfall just seems better than Stupor. What does? Doomfall. Yeah, but you don't have to choose one or the other. Yeah, but you're casting Stupor to make a... It does, Stupor is just a, a single him, right? It's just a, a discard one at random, right? No, it's target... They discard a card at random, then discard a regular card. Oh, it's that's two cards. Fun. That's really good. It's two cards. It's 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 literally mind rot, but one of them is random. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like that. You sold me. All you had to do was read the card. I think Icy is broken in any format. You can tap artifacts, yeah. creatures, or lands. Yeah, you can, touch, you can tap a land down. You can port somebody. Seems good. For one mana. Yeah, it's pretty good. What up, J-Loot? <sighs> nah, that's not going to make the cut. We got one cut to make here. I understand the Efreet isn't 
we're not aggro, but it's a three four. Like that that effectively blocks. That's... Yeah, but the problem is if they play anything bigger that flies, like we're just gonna eat life every turn. No, you chump. <laughs> sure. They cut that free. I don't know. I'm just. It never feels like it does anything. No, I, that... you've played. You played, played one more limited than me. Skeleton might be pretty mad for not playing anything that abuses it. Not with. We are though. No. Oh no! You cut the Fallon. We didn't. We didn't pick it. Oh. We took this. We took the ever 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 nightshade because it has undying, which I think is pretty good. Uh huh. See this tiny bug flying around here? I do not. It's driving me absolutely crazy. One card. One card. We have 14 creatures. Wait, do we really need one card? We're playing a Signet. Yes, we're not playing 16 lands in this deck. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty high at 4 and 5. This is a significantly high black. Mm -hmm. So you're coming in, you're coming in, you're coming in, you're coming in, you're coming in. Alright, cool. Got a lot of fixing lands. So. No, you're not. You're not over here. We'll add our basics for now. And Every one of our fixing lands produces a black, which is good. Yeah. Oh, we're not. How much can we really pump it? Uh, a lot. A <laughs> lot is the answer to that. So this is nine black sources. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we can cut that. Go to ten here. Four, five, six, seven blue. I think that's fine. Yeah, you're not doing anything until three, right? Actually, we get to get we get to add one more blue because that was uh, seventeen. Lanes. Yeah. Is it correct to play 41? Maybe? At 17? It's, it's actually entirely possible at 17. With Signet? Could be good. What's the worst that happens? Nothing, really. Yeah, Let's do true. it. I'm mm -hmm. in. A loss is a loss either way. Sober Robert has convinced me of the magic ways. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> Mental Magic, which is actually someone who uh, catches the stream regularly on YouTube, said, Keeping a five land hand when your only other cards are a burn spell and an aura seem like a misplay to me, especially in Limited, where almost 50% of the deck is land. And then I'll be like, well, then it appears what you have witnessed... Was well, a misplay? Is a misplay. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could be right. It's probably a misplay. And then that's what it is. I will play first. Keep. Hand's great. Cape. Hand's great. Cape. That, hand, that hand's great. What does the tar pit do, other than rock? It's a fetch land. Okay. It searches for mountain or swamp. All right. Comes into play tap, though, unfortunately, but... Mm -hmm. So do you. I'm sorry, say it again? You, you do, too. Say it to my face? You also. To my face. You're not looking at me. I don't have to. It's The onus is on you to say it to my face. That's what I thought. Yeah, well. This is going to get shocked. If, do you think Wait, shock was shock never, was never uncommon. an uncommon. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> Flame jet. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning axe. axe. Wow. Discarding that's, him. That's hasty. That's a twofer. That's that's like letting me draw a card yeah, from this, that's, basically. That's hasty. Like, don't you feel like five damage is worth a lot more here? Do I want to look at their hand? I kind of want to doom fall. We have nothing else going on. And well, we I mean, can we can play one of our tap lands. Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying we do that next turn and we still have spell up. Still have spell up. Spell up is two words. We still have spell up. Is that like Philip, but with spells? Sandstone Oracle. Eh, it's annoying. That annoying. Lightning Strike, don't care. Complicate, I don't care. We just gotta remember. I wanna take this Rogue because the Yeah, I think Rogue stuff. is easy pick here. <clears throat> Make me feel some type of it. We just gotta remember the Oracle we can't deal with right now. Well, they can't cast it for at least four turns, and that's if I'm they just draw. Saying. Just saying. I am also just saying. Okay. Can we say it together? Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We were so out of sync there. It's because you didn't give me time. You didn't give me time. <laughs> so what they play island. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Excellent. Please play a four drop. Yes. No. He can cycle it. That's unfortunate. Oh, no, wait. Cycling's three. Oh. We're doing it. And they can't well. lightning strike it. And they can't lightning strike it. It's actually pretty good. Very good. Very good. It's pretty relevant. Do we have any double red things? I think you want a red. Yes, we have. We have um, 
Oh, well, no, Knuckle V is... Um, it's blue. Hybrid mana. But Fight with Fire to kick is double red, so... Yeah. I don't th- we have double of everything else. I don't think there's... Yeah, we have a significant amount more black than... Oh, there goes Sandstone Oracle, and it's going to be big. That's what she said. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. She's crazy. Make me feel some type of way. 3-4. Dodge's Lightning Strike. They do get to kill it. If they kill it, though, they get to kill our land. <laughs> well, we could just decline, right? It's a May ability. Oh, is it? Yeah, sweet. Look at that. <laughs> You're legendary today, dude. Man, all you, you gotta do is... change the stream title to Legend. All you do is read these cards, and I can't even... I can't, I'm just gonna kill that thing. I agree. Sanctum Death. You just tried to pay with no... See? Pay. This is what I mean. Less Legendary. <laughs> I still can't counter it. <laughs> yeah, this is complicated. This is complicated. I mean, even if they kept up mana, we still would have been able to pay it, so. True. But he gets to draw a card. Oh, he got land that turn. So he's got one unknown. Uh, let's, anyway, now let's... we're about to see it. All right, so that's the only card we didn't know about. Okay, this is a lot of... We can get the O3. And then it's a, we have a, a three six. No. Seems bad. Yeah. We'll, we'll just attack through these dudes. What an experimental aviator. We have so many good cards in our deck. Where are they at? Glad we played 41 because. <laughs> this comment was also made two minutes ago and someone already thumbs up it. Like, that's crazy. I thought it was a good comment. Yeah, but how did they get there that quickly is my question. Like, because you told me about it. No, it was thumbs up from the minute I opened it, which was way before I told the story, so. Okay. I was lying. Oh my god, just I didn't I didn't time that guy out, by the way, earlier. You didn't time anybody out. I know. Almost. That seems phenomenal. Oh my god, almost. I mean they have a complicate in hand, which is really they're gonna be like, well, I will I will cycle this. To deal one whole point of... Uh, is it 9 or 10? What? 9. The kicker, 9. And what are we on right now? 3, We're six, at eight. 7, 8. Ooh. It's real close. If they tap out for something and we draw a land, it's going to be a legend. Wait for it. <laughs> Dairy? There you go. Nailed it. I thought we were waiting for their spell. See? Look, at we screwed it up. We were preemptive. Did we? Hmm? Did we? Just for one phase? Just for one. I don't know why they're not blocking and then like lightning striking our guy. That seems uh, better, right? Yeah, it does. Because lightning strikes just doing nothing. Maybe they're like, I'll wait for another removal spell so I can kill their land ah, too. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna ingest that dude. Actually, that's that's actually really good. Six seven seems. Oh look, we could just do that. You could. I like how you said you could, and then you just didn't say anything. Because I, I was counting mana, and if they're still going to get to play their dude, their sandstone. What does Oracle do again? Please tell me. I'm sorry. Oracle what? Sandstone? San, this one they the draw sandstone. cards equal to the number we... Oh, the difference in the cards. The difference. So if we have three cards and they have one, they draw two. But oh, but they they're not going to get anything. They're ahead of us. Right. Yeah. I don't care about that. Time to start lightning striking, bro. Yeah, let's use the ability. You got ingested. Six, seven. Blah. You got swallowed. Uh, six, seven against the blue red deck seems really hard <laughs> to deal with. No, 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 no. Chef to Chief, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? That's Avril Lavigne. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. I saw the way she was acting like someone else. (laughs) Getting her frustrated. (laughs) God, man. You're the best. Lol didn't kill? What does that mean? Jabe, what are you saying right now? They didn't like. Oh my god, if they don't let you strike. They, they have, have to, to now. Oh, if they do that now, we still get the dude. They're they're dead on board then, aren't they? We still get the dude? Yeah. It was a 3 3. Yeah. 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 Tell me how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need land off the top for it to, for, for it to be dead on board. You got it, bro. I'll put it on this one. Actually, we'll make the dude because now they don't have lightning strikes, so. Yeah. Yeah! (laughs) 
He was so enthusiastic the whole time. Okay. We have 11 damage on board. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Do you think that seems like a lot? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Is it Do we get two exacts? Oh, they got a thing. What is this, idiot? He's not exploiting, so he doesn't counter spell. Oh, we should have played chunk. this first. No, what does it matter? Because then we could have shot this and it can't block. Does it have a haste? No, it doesn't have haste. Ha and it Oh, it doesn't have haste or flash, I guess. Yeah. What? I'm thinking of is it static caster. Like, oh. hardcore thinking of is it static caster here. Well, technically, you still could is it static caster if you're thinking of is it static caster. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Hey, bro, let me, you want to see my electrode? <laughs> Incoming scoop, boys. Incoming scoop. Jiggly jelly. Yeah, electrode. Look at this jelly right monster. You know what this creature is? It's super weird, dude. That thing looks like if it slaps you in the face, you just don't feel it. It just goes, it <laughs> goes just through engulfs you. you. Yeah, you just got blobbed. Yep, told you. It was the G-Electrode. You got jammed. It wasn't the 6-7 Ingester. All right, what do we see? A bunch of nonsense? <laughs> this card seems worse in this cube because there's obviously no Planeswalkers. Okay, time out. Okay. Time out. In a, in a format full of... Um, what do they call them? The signets is uh, is an ability that bumps them. Worth it? Bumps them? Yeah, just bumps them. Bumps them back to the hand. The the uh, the this? Yeah. No. Why would it be? No. Okay. That seems miserable. Okay. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand. <laughs> That's offensive because I'm here. Like if you do that and I'm I'm in chat, like I can't defend myself. That's yeah. But you you knew what this was. So. <laughs> I think we're just fine. I think our deck is good. Yeah. Whatever. Bumsome. <laughs> Bumsome. <laughs> hey man, doesn't it just isn't it fact that Bumsome good? No, dude. No, the Bumsome is bad. This hand is great. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, they went to six. They're basically dead. Yep. Your video means sounding working. Oh, that's true. Here we go. I'll do it again. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what happened when Robert when Robert made his thing. When I tried to think and speak at the same time. Yes. Oh, and now we got a two drop? Did it again. We're curving. We'd be curving, boys. The, and then we can activate on four. The curve is real. Oh, look at that idiot. That's pretty cool. It's okay. We're going to draw a removal spell. Ready? That wasn't it. Next turn, you meant. I meant, I meant next turn, obviously. Yeah, three, a three drop removal spell. Fight with fire. Incoming. <sighs> Are you trading if you attack? Totally trading. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. See? He knew the value. No. Whatever you cast right now is about to get counterspelled. So don't cast anything. No. 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 Do we not count? Do we not cast anything? I mean, you know he's got that. He's got that three mana leak, dude. They have four cards, and he gets to cycle it. I. I I think you play off curve off off one. I think you you skip one. We got a nice curve going. Watch him cycle it. <laughs> We're okay with that though. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, dang. That is that really bad though? That's not bad. No, it just feels bad because they're doing things and we're not. So. Well, we're gonna do bigger things. Yeah, but first they have to watch me whip. Yeah, I know. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to. Oh, this gosh. feels really bad. This is very bad. I'm less comfortable with what's happening yes, right now. Yes, that was bad. That card is insane. That's I want to play that in Commander now. I didn't know that existed. That's a Biden of Thassa. No, Knuckle V. Go for Throaty. Go for Throaty? Yeah, it rhymed. You think Knuckle V and Throaty? I guess, I guess they did. Knew. You said it simultaneously. It worked. You knew it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you knew it. it Someone good. asked me if I knew where some gardens were. Some gardens were? After looking it up on the internet, I'm pretty sure it's just an alias for a drug dealer that lives down the street from me. Google Maps has it listed as a local business. With a, That's fine. With a pin on on the map and no address. And Facebook has a page for it claiming it's a business with no poster pictures or anything super shady. And, and only one super shady dude saying they went there and liked it. Interesting. 
Why you gotta go and make a thing so complicated? Is it Bolt? Is it Sire? Or is it ha well, Haunter? They're attacking with the Untethered Express next turn. The problem is the counter spell is just gonna blow us out. But you know what? The fact that they actually had the Sorcerer instead, that would lead me to believe they probably don't have that counter spell. No. So I actually think you should hold up Bolt and Bolt that Untethered Express. Yeah, but if they have any counter spell whatsoever, it's still bad. Okay. But I mean, if they're time walking us anyways. Yeah, I guess we're not, we have no way to deal with that, I guess. Can I just double block it? You, you can double block it. That seems fine. It becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we trade that. Oh, no, it's no, a 4-butt. Yeah, but we get to keep one of them. Yeah. Doesn't seem that bad. But the problem then is if we, we keep Guild Mage, right? When we, then we keep Guild Mage, and then now they can attack through us to get their card draw. But we killed this. Mm -hmm. And then we're drawing a card off this. And we have answers. I don't know what you're saying. They they crew this. Sure. We double block it. Yep. We already killed this because we're prophetic bolting right now. Actually, maybe we wait. Let's wait. And we'll double block. And then let them And if they'll if they respond by killing a guy, then we'll then we'll try to kill it in response. No, we can't because the no. stupid trigger. <gasps> Alright, hold on. We're not doing this after all. Slow down. What's so what are you yelling rip bolting for? right now? You're so pitch perfect that you may actually get demonetized by my girlfriend Avril. Wow. How? What are what? What are you asking? You're killing the young peasy. Yes. Okay. And hoping they don't have force spike. That's not happening. I, I like this play. I like this play. Better. I don't want them to untap no, because no, no. they I have like three cards. Like what is a crew on that? What is a crew one? So they're just gonna use this to crew. Okay. Um, I don't care about any of these cards. It's gotta uh, be skeleton, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty bad, but we're not drawing these, so whatever. And we can knuckle it back next turn, which is pretty strong. Yeah. Hey there, what you yelling for? Oh, Mike Barbaboo actually looks different because this is a different human being. Mm. Indeed. They have three cards. If any one of them deals two damage to a creature, this is a complete blowout. Somebody else to me. It is, but it's not because of reassembling Tell skeleton. Tell me. Yeah, but it has trample. Oh. So reassembling skeleton doesn't do shit. Oh. Fish is, I don't think so. Yep, here we go. There it is. Yep. Never never didn't have it. And it deals. Oh my god, and they draw a friggin' this card. Is no bueno. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is actually bad. That's bad. Yes, correct. We're going to have to take a hit and then double block again. And then it becomes, what, a 6-6? Six, six? Jesus. It's not even a 2-for-1. It's like a 3-for-1 because they drew a card. <clears throat> oh, boy. That's brutal, man. I mean, it's, I think you got a knuckle over here. So they guess. can just counter it? <laughs> sure. Here you go. Big nucks. Cycle your thing. Draw your card. It resolved. What? Don't touch my big nucks. Yes, use his ability. God. We're not dead yet, but like, even go for the throw doesn't We're kill We're not dead guy. yet! How come you don't have that on your little soundboard? Um, I don't know. That's because I never thought of it until right now. That's why. You should put that on your soundboard. He's not dead yet. Whatever, dude. Yeah, cheating. How many cards did they have? Uh, four, I think. So did they not draw anything? They drew one? Yeah, I drew... Oh, no, that's crew one. Wait. Oh, this guy doesn't have float, so... All right, I guess we'll just take eight and go to six. And they'll draw two more and go to seven. Oh, boy, I'm vomiting in my mouth right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not, not exactly... God, we can't do anything here. I think we're dead. I cannot imagine a card that we can draw that puts us back in this game. <laughs> if we had a way to... Oh, wait, no, no. What? Untapped land at least stops the crew. Untap land? Yeah, fight with fire. 
We've played a land this turn. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Sorry. Did we? Yes, it says it right here. Frank, turn seven. Played a mountain. Sorry, man. <laughs> well, I'm trying to help. <laughs> what part of that thing... Let me help by hitting the concede button. What part you. of that thing do you think helped me? You open it up, I'll hit the button. All right. Do we have a fragmentize? No. Oh, God. Consign actually seems a lot better now. It's like the only card we have that's actually good against that dude. Yeah, he'll bring that in. Tell me why you gotta go and make things so complicated. So this guy makes three zero ones. Yeah, I'll just take that idiot out. <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. Go home. Marsh Casualties actually doesn't seem awful because they're, they're creatures that we've seen. Let's True. take out Reassembling Skeleton. Actually, Marsh Casualties seems great. Great! I will play first. Keep. Seems fine. We'll manage. Maybe they'll go to four. They didn't, they didn't mulligan <laughs> at all. Fatal error. <laughs> Mistakes were made. It was a very long game. When did you make them? Well, we kept our hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got there. My name is Sober Jeff. Robert. My name, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Allie's actually watching our stream. That's pretty sweet. Allie, really enjoying the cube if you are watching this. Even if you're not, I'm still enjoying the cube. <laughs> um, no enthusiasts. It's funny that... What was that card called? The train? What was the stupid train called? Untethered Express. Yeah, that card was busted in uh, in, in, in Aether Revolt Limited, and yeah. it's still just as strong in this cube, apparently. Raging Ravine. Uh, is Gelectrode a Weaponcraft enthusiast? It's Weaponcraft. As a 2-3? No, make 1-1s, one right? Well, are we trying to get the burn spell out of their hand? I don't know, man. No, I like the I like the extra blockers. We go. We yeah, go. make the three bros. We're a lot bigger... Two bros. That's what I said. Well, it's three bros. Three amigos. He, he's making two, two bros, bros, but we're yeah. making three mm -hmm. bros. Yeah. Come on, get it together. <laughs> sure. Deal. Scry. <laughs> Go ahead. You can have it. You could have asked, dude. I would have let you just scry. <laughs> you just scry, man. Like, you don't have to do that. If you just asked me, I would have said it's yes. friendly magic. I mean, you're, you're virtually at 20, which is almost 19. Allie, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, really enjoying it. I, I remember actually when we drafted this in Seattle, and um, I think it, I think you've made significant changes to it since then. Also, there's a lot of cards. I, one, one thing I like about this is that there's... <gasps> that's actually pretty okay. One thing I like is that there's a lot of cards that I find, and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know this was uncommon. So there's a lot of surprise factor to the cube as well, where you don't remember cards being uncommons. Do we hammer or do we electrode here? I like... I'm going to send a message first. God, I like him. There we go. This guy looks significantly more threatening than this guy. Yeah, he but does. <laughs> this guy's just like, no, I can't. Well, what you don't gonna... realize is he's just pooping out the little things from the blue light. Is what he's doing. It's from not, the blue light. Oh, this yeah, is yeah. A, a servo maker. Yeah, he's that's. Just... Whoop. It's just a soldering iron. It just looks scary. Yeah, than it's it all. Is. <laughs> I got it. He's welding his cape into people. Like you do. Metal people. Is it electrode? Because we get another hit off this. Yeah. I don't... Plus, like, I don't care about their six cards, and they have no. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're we're better if they go if they draw land and they play it and then you have four cards in, or five cards in hand. You have five cards in hand. Got him. Please don't burn our G -Lectric. No, it's hundred percent dead. Don't do it. You could have just told me not to. You could have just told me you wanted to do that and I would have done it. Not a big deal. Okay. Hello, Mike. <laughs> so literally, anyone who streams Hello. with me is literally just Mike. They're all just Mikes. So, oh, that's fine. You don't even have any dudes. You don't even have any creatures. Jokes on you. We have a 1-1. One, one. Our pressure is not. Why attack with the 0-1 to send a message? It was a joke. Because because it's a fun stream. Yeah, just funsies. It's not... There's no strategy there. Is this Hunter? It's got to be I feel Hunter. like we're waiting too long. Are we waiting too long on the him, though? Because, like, five... It's it, random. They, they, I know that. But it could be... It could hit a five drop that when they hit the blue land they're waiting on. You know what I mean? But we could also just develop our board as well. Develop the board then. I like the Haunter. Actually, it's no, it's not. It's not that relevant, I guess, because like if they have, well, they would have played Young Pyromancer. 
I was saying it's relevant because of the crew cost, but it's only crew one. So. You tell me what you want me to do. I want you to play the Haunter because that's okay. what you want to do. No, I want you to do what you want to do. I don't know, though. I'm uncertain. Are you? I, I, I feel a lot of uncertainty When right you now. said, I want to do this, I thought it felt certain. I thought that too, but... Okay, but after I've, the fact. Yeah, now I've changed. Sure. I'm a changed man. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they found it. Here we go. Here we go. And that's all they played was a three drop. Oh, but they oh. can't soul bond. That's fine. They can't soul bond. No, they can't soul bond, but we can destroy that. We can kill that too. Oh, we can. We yeah. can. We can marsh casualties, and oh. him to Torok. No, not yet. No, we need to Dang. Play. Jokes on him. We're winning this race. This card is really strong. Yeah, it is. Wish we had a fragmentized. I don't think it needs. I think the crew needs to be higher than one. It doesn't need to get counters, and it certainly doesn't need trample. Okay, now we are winning the race. I think it's just him to Torok and Serenity Vepri. We can take another hit. Yep. After it. This is two thirds. This is two thirds of their hand. That's pretty okay. Yeah. Are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna kill another yeah. servo. That's still value. Yeah, that's pure value. So your entire hand's gone. Yep. Rip. How much? How much blue in there, buddy? That's fine. Yeah. And they can't draw their oracle to draw cards. That seems good. Well, we only have like one card in hand anyway, so. I was. I'm playing Ban Historic in my uncommon QBA. Hey, Raph plus Wolf for Avenger. That's actually pretty sweet. Is Wolf for Avenger uncommon? It's uh, not. Is that that's not a legendary either, though, right? Swole Mike eat protein chips instead of ice. I hope they play Young Pyromancer here. That would make me so happy. Dang it. We're just going to cast this without kicker because, come on. We do have a blocker. Or, uh, yeah, blocker. A I don't know why. Usman, what's going on, buddy? Also, Splash for Slimefoot because it's Slimefoot. Oh, that's a good draw. This is. That I don't care about. Oh, uh, he had land. I was going to say. Beautiful. If he cast that, you knew he drew that. Well, that's actually not bad. That wins us the game. That wins us the game. Well, not now. If he draws, if he draws a dude, I'm yeah, we we'll just steal it. Yeah, that's just game because he can't kill us with one attack. Did it? Got him. He doesn't even know it. Yeah, yet. like we saw dominating, we were like, "This is uncommon." Wow. Wait, we could steal his untethered express. Yeah, you didn't know that. That's insane. Wait, what did you think? How else? I was thinking, well, because he crews and attacks, and then we steal their guy. But like, they're already at three. Yeah, like, they have one this. card to deal with both of these guys. Okay. If it's a creature, then we just take seven because it was a creature. They did. I hope they get a creature and they get to block. They don't get to block. What if they have a creature that creature that poops out of the dudes? That has to have it flying. Whatever. This doesn't fly. He's a very low to the ground spirit. <laughs> he likes to he likes to stick he's around. He's fresh. With people. He's new. He's a new spirit. You know he's, what I mean? He's got to learn. He's a new spirit on the block. He's, he's fresh. more of a floater. Do you want to change anything? He's more of a floater. I feel like you're making a lot of poop references, <laughs> but like they're veiled poop references. <laughs> Was that veiled? Uh, I mean... F yeah, it was failed. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times. Good times. I don't know. You can make changes. I gotta, I gotta get going. I gotta go to softball practice for my daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Literally leaving. Three and a half hours later. Three and a half. Wait, I thought it was at 630. It is. It's I gotta drive an hour to get home. It's only like half an hour, man. Don't be a little baby about at, it. At five o'clock? Uh, yeah, but if you wait a half an hour, then it's only... The same amount of time? 540. <laughs> D-Man, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome... Two beards equal better stream. It's just it's science. It's science. Mm -hmm. You maybe draft all these terrible cards. It's like, addition by addition. And then now I have to now I have to play with the terrible cards instead of the good cards we could have drafted instead. Unbelievable. I can't deal with you when you're like this. Which is your existence. I can't deal with your existence. That's what it comes down to. I'll be back Friday. We can talk about it then. That sounds good. Let's okay, do that. Cool. Let's do it. I'll but I, I would play the consigned oblivion. You think over saying your autocrat? I like that. Yeah, I don't like that guy as much. Okay, I'm good. Let's do it. Still sticking with the 41, though, because... Because uh, that's how... Can you drag this chair with you? Yeah, I'm going to get it out for you. Preach, preach. I will join the match. I'm going to scoot over now, too. I got more room. We can get more comfortable here. Hunter, stay. Don't get hyped. Well, turn this mic off. Put it I'll up. see you Friday, man. All right, buddy. I'm sure I'll talk to you before that. I don't think you brought anything. No. Did you get all four of your phones? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, this hand is so good. You look what you're missing. He doesn't even know. Uh, all right. Well, that guy's fine. That is a one-one. This is one of my favorite streams in a while. Man, good to hear it, buddy. Josh, thank you so much for saying so. Parish. Baleful into Serendib. Woof. <laughs> Turn this mic off so sad. <laughs> oh, good times. This sure made me put my pants a little in a good way. All right, well. That's the service I want to provide, so that's good. That's all we're really looking for here, is a little pants pooping. Oh, I thought Renown was actually the one where if it was dealt... What is the... What is the one where if they if you've dealt damage this turn, you uh, get a thing? You know what I'm talking about? Blood Rush? Bloodlust? Blood crash? Blood gang? All right, well, this is... It's getting a little out of hand here. Marsh casualties. Where my marsh casualties be at? Bloodthirst? Is that what it's called? Where, like, if you've dealt damage this turn, it gets a thing. That's why I was like, oh, it's cool. It's just a 1-1. One -one. But then it was renowned, and then they attacked us. Oh, dear God. What does this do? And has this... Cur oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, biscuits. Remember that time our hand was like, this looks really good, and then the red deck just crushed us? I do, too. Oof. Oof. I guess we'll help them out. So we take one, two, three, four block here. Oh, the old blood touch, a classic. You just, just sack a goblin? Yeah, that seems fine. I will 100% block. Oh, just these two? Alright, I'll block here. Preventing five and... Uh, also prevented another four, I guess. Be something good. I think, actually, Cyclone Sire is pretty good here just because it lets us get two creatures instead of one. This guy's being obnoxious, but next time we can play this, and then ideally... Maybe we're not dead. They have one card. Cheese it, it's the fun police. Oh my god, this guy's scary. Ah, oh, Menace. A classic. Hey, one, two, three, four, five. We can actually do a bunch of things right now. Exiling a creature is not that great. I think we actually just play Icy and then keep up Consign to bounce this guy after they... We can also Doomfall, but that's just going to get rid of a 1-1, one, one, so... If you yourself could have any answer to mechanic, what would you choose and why? If only card drawing was a mechanic. It's a good question, though. If only this countered it if it wasn't in play. <laughs> if this creature's in play, deal one damage to any target. Flying seems pretty good. I do like flying. Lifelink could be fun, but I don't know what that implies in real... Wow. So we're at three, and we're basically dead because we block here, and we take three. Wow, that was that's pretty good. Last card was a, uh, a thing. All right, so we're definitely bringing in Marsh Casualties a thousand percent of the time. Um, that's probably the only thing we really want. One three is decent. Hex Mage is okay. Let's take out Ingester, because you're very slow. 
Take out Icy. We'll bring in Augur of Bolas. I think that's actually fine. Take out a Stupor and the Doomfall. We'll bring in Vampire Hex Mage, and we can probably just play. Just play forty. That seems fine. Let's do it. Well, that's not going to do it. Yeah, first strike does seem relevant, but the problem is there it's a it's one toughness, so it's probably not going to survive. Um you're going to go on the bottom because we just want to hit a blue source here. I mean, weapon craft enthusiast is good. Any land here is great because then we can play rep weapon weapon craft enthusiast. Oh, the weapon outside is frightful. Lightning Berserker is also frightful. Hit land. All right, we'll do that. Oh, but I don't want to get... I want to get a red here. Dang it. Dang it, Hex Mage. I think the double black is actually fine. We don't have any red cards right now. So we can actually risk it for the biscuit. Plus, like, there's Marsh Casualties, there's Him to Torok. We have a bunch of double black cards, so. I will block. Blue. Island. Blue. That's not what I meant. You mis you misinterpreted me, Magic Online. Swole Mike did leave. Let me actually fix that now. All right. We're back. I did say blue. I meant island. Dang it. What does this guy do? Oh, this is the uh, the flipper. Well, hoping I hit blue. Oh, we're so good at this game. Attacking creatures you control. It's beginning to be trouble. Keep if no spells were cast last turn. Transform him. I think it's weapon craft because if we do get Baleful Strix, like if we draw something next turn, we might be able to play both. Thank you. Haj Gulashi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you. We're gonna weapon craft enthusiast and make three dudes. Two dudes. Well, three dudes. We make we make three dudes. It makes two dudes. You know how it goes. Oh, a Kelden Megaliths. Dealing one damage to any target is pretty insane. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to block here because if we get to play Possessed Scob, I want to be able to get back a Weapon Craft Enthusiast. Their deck is very good. Oh, that was a perfect draw. I mean, not for this turn, but, you know, in general. It's a good draw. Oh, boy. This is when it deals one damage to any target. Oh, my God. I'm so uncomfortable right now. The fire is so delightful. This is a lot of dudes. My guy is in the graveyard. I think we're just dead here. That's actually pretty good with the Haunter of Night Vale. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Is that a Christmas song? Weird. Who knew? All the way home I'll be warm. 
Oh, the weather outside is mockful. What are they doing? Just pumping this guy to a million? What's happening right now? Wild slash this guy. It doesn't deal four damage. What? That was a weird thing to do. That was interesting. None of that turn made any sense. That was very good for us. I'm okay with the, the result of, of that turn. This guy's really obnoxious. Unfortunately. Do we just want to possess Scob to get back, like, something? We could also EOT bounce this guy. But, yeah, let's actually play Augur of Bolas, and then we'll just bounce this guy. I think they thought if you have a creature with... Oh... Boy... Good day to you, sir. Shoot my servo, I'm sure. Wow. I mean, we could have actually attacked with the 1-1. One, one, tried to uh, get a hit in. But... I mean, like, the odds are they're just going to shoot it in response. Dang. What a gas hand. Gelectrode seems good against them. One, two, three. Especially because... Well, they, get, they got Kelton and Megaliths, though. Oh, man. All our X-Toughness... All our X-1s are so bad. I guess Cyclone Sire. But then now they have Rogue's Passage. So we actually start... We have to start dealing damage at some point here. These guys aren't that great, actually. This guy only deals two. Yeah. Actually, Possessed Scab is super versatile. Getting back to this is just insane. And now we can just cast it next turn for full value for five. That's really good. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take two. But then this guy does flip, which is unfortunate. But it's only a 3-3 three, three when it flips. So, whatever. Flip it up and flip it out. So, is it's attacking creatures get a plus one, so he's a four. Actually, that was a good draw. We will kick. Kicking it just gets rid of this guy too, right? Is that worth it? Alternatively, we can do, what, nothing else? Yeah, that's fine. All right, now we're just going to get more aggressive. We'll take four here. Five if they want to kill and Megalitz us, which I assume they might. Or they can just play things. Slith Firewalker. That guy has uh, whatever it attacks against the counter. Oh, because of the trap. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, that was very good. Oh, boy. Oh, that's an exciting card. Bingo. We're at seven. This guy can block here. Four is six. So they have to win next turn, and I don't think they can do that. So we'll actually just attack. We'll put them to six. Then these guys win the game. Yeah, it's fine. It's an aggressive attack. Any removal spell for this guy is good. Well, that's a land. No, we're not going to do that. So we attack with both. They have to block one. And then they can actually shoot this guy. Which is fine. Because they still go to three. 
And then we can just play Cyclone. Okay. I mean, if they want to Rogue's Passage this guy, like, we're going to go to five, and then we'll go to four next turn if they're able to play their card. And if they Rogue's Passage this, we take two more and go to two. So if it's like, if, if their card is Magma Jet, then they actually can't Rogue's Passage. So they can't Rogue's Passage and play a spell and give this and deal us a damage. So it's actually pretty safe. I mean, if they have Lightning Bolt... Stoke. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Why do you, why are you the way that you are? It awkwardly backs away. Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, Magic. I'll play first. We'll keep. My god. I think they had like two outs that we knew about. Lightning Bolt and... No, Lightning Bolt wouldn't even do it because Lightning Bolt was three... And then they would only have one to shoot. And then we had a block. So literally, they, it had to be a four... It had to be a four damage spell that they were able to pay three mana for. That's amazing. Magic is a hell of a game. Mind blown. Um, The nice thing about this hand is you don't really have much to do until turn four anyway, so we can actually just spend our first three turns playing tap lands. I guess we got a red here. Second red seems relevant considering we have Fight with Fire in hand. Well, that guy's good. I don't, now I don't want to sit behind. Uh, now I kind of just want to kill that dude. Oh, I guess we can play Reassembling Skeleton. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do that. All right, we'll get a red. Because I don't really want to waste Fight with Fire anyway. Oh, uh, this is my first my first try at the cube. Yeah, didn't it just come out today? Swole Mike has gone home for the day. Uh, oh boy. Um So it's either a four four or it it Wait, okay, so it's three Oh, so it's either a 4 4 or a 4 4 just for this turn and it gains haste. Pay the trade and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just kill it. That is fine. It will die. Because we can double block here. This guy comes back as a 2 2, which is totally fine. And then we can fight with fire this. Luckmass, what's going on? I tell Brazil I said hey. I ideally, he did go home to do some research on Heart and the New Radicals. More so on Heart, because they are wonderful. <laughs> Druin Island. Seems good. Again. This is how you this wow. I can I'll still block and trade. That's fine. Getting rid of reassembling skeleton, not really too scary. This guy also gets real big next turn, so we can just sit behind that too. Thank you. 
Envious X, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six is a six, six. Do I actually want this guy to flip though? Hmm. I think I do because that's actually better than not flipping. So I think his flip side is the, the, the less scary side. Tin Man with a Spazio sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Well, I really appreciate the, uh, the gifted support. I've had Sunday Chicken Sunday stuck in my head for the past three days. Now I have a small insight into what goes on. Yeah, welcome to my life. It's, uh... Whew. Blood Braid Elf, huh? Oh my god. This deck is great. The haste is real. Alright, you don't have a mountain, though. That's good. You don't have a red source. All right, I guess we're gonna be doing a lot of blocking here. Holy snoogans. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're actually gonna be block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go to four. We're fine. We got this. Flipping back. All right. It's not going to do it. Got three blockers, one shooter. No, two blockers. Two block, block, shoot, and then we still take four. That is unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are three away from kicking this and one away from this guy. So, all right. That was a little too aggressive for us, unfortunately. So, is Marsh Casualties good? Probably. A lot of their guys are too too toughness. Man, Marsh Casual just comes in every game. Maybe it's just main deckable here. Let me take out this. Um, I think that's actually fine. Oh, I actually don't play much Paper Magic. I actually, I'll probably be playing FNM this weekend. That's kind of like Paper Championships, right? <sighs> magic is hard. Yeah, I think Bloodbraid Elf into anything else that's less relevant would have been better. We would have went to six life instead of four. Uh, they would have had one less dude on the board. Even Flinthoof Boar can get haste. Maybe Augur is better than reassembling Skeleton. It's just blocks better. Blocks are two twos and their two ones better. Also, um, I don't know if we have the... This isn't a deck that really has the mana to keep investing into reassembling Skeleton every single turn. So, maybe this is better. I will play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this in. Marsh Casualties and a Demir Signet. Seems fine. Would not mind a red source, but uh, we'll manage. We'll just win anyway. It's fine. What do you think of a cube where the first pack was all rare, second pack all in common, third pack all common? Um, my only, my, my, my initial thought is that seems really logistically hard to do. I mean, on Magic Online, you can do it very easily. Obviously, a paper cube would not work very well. Just to unbalance the equation. Oh, the old 636-23. A classic. Um, I guess we're just playing Nightshade here. That seems good. Tim, man, thank you so much. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Uh, what would you think of a cube where the first man... Oh, yeah, I just read that. Just making sure that was the same comment. Seems good. We could Doomfall next turn and still attack for two. So each creature, yeah, sure. Oh, let's do that. 
land me? Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's so hard to for Bloodbraid Elf to exist in the world. Actually, we can marsh casualties here. That's pretty good. I like that. Knucklevy's looking pretty sad right now, though. Something wrong with the moon today. I don't know if we're attacking here. I don't feel like that's profitable for us. Dealing one, dealing two points does not seem better than preventing two points in the, against this deck. I'm almost at a point where I'll just block, just to prevent the damage. But it also prevents them from playing like Strangle Geist or Flinthoof Boar and attacking with them as well. So I think the prevent the the prevention we can we could have uh, is stronger than the the damage we're dealing. I'm not gonna block. I'll just take two here. Kurt, would you include rares and mythics in the same? What if instead of commons, the first pack was all mythics, the second pack was all rares, third pack was all uncommons, and then you have just a significantly stronger cube? I will take a possessed scob so we can get back our marsh casualties. What did you get? You got a grafted war gear. Well, I'll be a biscuit. And he kept it, too. Aggressive. Can I just draw one mountain? Just give me one mountain. One red mana. Wait, you only did one? Why would you... You did two to me and one to it? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, it is a red land. Dang it. Let's look at your hand. Steal a thing. Oh god, Teamer Sabretooth is brutal. And we know you're gonna draw War Gear, so actually this is pretty good for us. I'm feeling very okay right now. Oh, actually, do we draw two here? No, we want to pump. We want to be able to kill this guy, and War Gear is only giving plus two, so three, four, five, one, two, three, four. We're not gonna be able to do that. This guy is trampled, though. I'm more concerned with this guy, so. If they put the war gear on here, I'll probably just actually block here, and then we can prophetic bolt this guy. No, we can't do that either. God. I guess we'll just figure it out. Oh, good. Great. Oh, fantastic. Oh, boy. This is just going well. Loving every minute of it. This couldn't have gone better. We get a guy. We get to bolt your guy before you get to equip the war gear to it. I guess you get to equip the war gear to it now. So that's not true. I made that up. That was just a lie I told myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. This can be a... S oh! This can be a seven, seven. That's a six, six. We could just Wait. I think we're just going to wait here. Do I really want to take three, though? Ugh. Scary. How do I decide what emojis to make? Um, I It's really difficult. I have no idea, actually. One, two, three, four, five. This leaves us with a pump of three. But we can actually pump one, two, three, four, five, six. Make it an eight, eight. So assuming they draw nothing, we can make it an eight, eight. Or we can just prophetic bolt their face. If they do nothing. Do you have like a Google Sheet of your cube lying around? I'm in the process of building my own. Um, I do, but it's actually not completed. I, I've been taking cards out and putting cards in. 
You should equip that. Equip the Strangler Geist. Do we go face here? I'm pretty sure we go face here still. I can't. Three, four, five. I can't just assume. Like, uh, this guy just gets bigger. They have no cards in hand, so. I hate wasting this on face, but I really I have to do something. And if we play Knuckle V next turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we can just take Hunter. It's significantly better than any other card, so. Oh my goodness gracious. Card may cost X or less, so that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four. We're not there yet. Now I feel better about drawing two cards because we can always steal this guy. Block you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for the dominate. Two for the draw, and then we can pump once to block. Hmm. Alternatively, we can just play Haunter and then have two good blocks. Well, I guess one good block. This guy's going to be six. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can pump for five, making it a seven, seven. Yeah, actually, that's two good blocks. That's probably better. Did I miscount? No, 6-6. Six, six. Oh, no, it's it's actually, we didn't miscount. I'm bad at magic. I guess we could double block it. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Perfect. Perfect. God, we're so good at this game. <laughs> oh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're one man away from playing both of these. That is sad. But we are in a position where we can just... Now we can do this. This is easy. Yeah, they can move Wargill to kill, to kill their own guy. That is not a thing I care about. If they want to do that, that is more than fine. I just care about getting the 7-8 off the board, to be quite honest. So... So this guy's going to be a 4-3. And this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Deal. And we can always chump with Ravenous Chupacabra if we have to. <sighs> Crisp and refreshing. Yep. Mm, okay. I mean, if they're able to kill this guy, it's very good because then they just get to do... They get to kill two dudes, but four damage is not super easy for the red-green deck. And I can't imagine they're splashing like a black removal spell. This is probably just a red-green dual land. They're probably just doing that to get the guy bigger so that next turn it can break through, but next turn this is going to be a lot larger, so. Fire Malkavu, okay. Kill the Ever Nightshade. It's definitely got to be the Ever Nightshade. I wonder if they pay for this. Dang. So Nuckleby gets prophetic bolt back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have eleven mana. We can actually get Nuckleby back and prophetic bolt. 
That's pretty good. So one, two, three, four. Why can't he move the equipment? The equipment costs zero to move. So he would pay the upkeep, move the, the grafted war gear onto this, and like sell a 4-2. I mean, the 3-2 is not that, that great. Uh, yeah, I will use that ability. I don't actually feel I want them to pay the upkeep and then we'll steal it. That's what we're gonna that's what we're trying for here. But it's it's very hard because it makes their attacks very good. Oh, they're just not gonna do that. I see. Okay. Sad days. This is some good value. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good card. How many times can we play Prophetic Bolt? That's the question. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Are you going to put your thing on that guy? Are you going to draw a card? I like drawing a card here because it actually gives our stupor some value, but not anymore because... We're definitely stealing that guy. We don't have any green, right? Dang, no green. But they don't have another creature to attach it to either, so... One, two... One, two... X is currently one... Yeah, we're going to board with the stupor for something more relevant. Let's see if we hit anything here. Just whiffs. Any order's fine. And no possessed scob for us. One, two. Man, now I'm like, I'm just wishing we had a an incremental green source just attached to a land so that we could get some value oh win the game all right all right we'll take out the stupor especially on the draw i almost actually like nizumi grave robber because they have a lot of undying guys do they have a lot or one either way it's still a two one that blocks things comes down early I like Autocrat, but it's really easy to remove, so they can just actually kill the Autocrat and the Surf Tokens die, too. Yeah, I think Grave Barber's actually pretty good here. Maybe Hex Mage is actually good, too. I'm going to bring in all these early guys. Take out... Probably take out Ingester. It's a little... It's it's expensive, but it's also very good. Oh, we did have a Vivid Land. We had a Vivid Marsh, but not there. At least I don't think we did. I like Last Breath, but not enough to add, like, for Second Sanctuary and Orzov Signet to mess our random base up. Like, we already, we're already pretty slow with, like, three or four lands that come into... Five lands that come into play tapped. Ugh. Yeah, we'll just play it like this. I think bringing in early cards for late cards is probably where we want to be. Sounds actually pretty good. Keep. Yeah, I regularly play 41. Oh, that was a good draw. Mm. 
Consigned Bounce War Gear does seem pretty good, actually. No, oh, this guy's going to flip. Oh, boy, that's brutal. Not a fan of that. Actually, I guess we can just block with Serendipity Freak next turn. That should be fine. Oh, Put a plus one, plus one count. Pay the tribute and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. No, you can just attack for seven this turn. Oh, gross. Why does it have trample naturally? These aggressive decks seem very good in this cube. I am not a fan. But now we know what to do, at least. Gives me a better idea of how to... How to how to draft this this cube now that I know the uh, the power level of these aggressive cards. Don't kill my Siren to be free. Oh, just Bloodbird Elf into Siren Storm Tamer. All right, that's not the best. You can only attack with this guy, right? Oh, I guess you can attack with everything. All right, well, block you because you have Trample, and the other guys get chumped blocked pretty easily. And that guy gets small. We go to six. Next turn we can marsh casualties your board, but we just hope you tap out or don't see. Servos. Always with servos. Always servos. Always be servoing. All right, so we're gonna go to five. Ideally they tap out for uh, an X for two two twos, two two power guys, two toughness guys. Give me, the, give me the give me the low toughnesses. I am worried about this Serendipity Freak though. <laughs> oh, that's a blue card. Okay, seems good. So they don't have mana to counter our our thing. Kills this, kills this. Doesn't kill that though. B. Aggressive. B. B. Aggressive. Skulls come in Soul Ringer out of the queue for power level reasons. Good. That's actually awesome. Yeah, those don't seem on par with the rest of the cards. Good choice. Solid choice, Allie. Oh, you just took it. That is interesting to me. Well, we can kill both of you. You still get this guy. We can play Hex Mage. We can also just Hunter. I think it's actually Hunter here. Like, it does almost the same thing. Puts you to one, puts you to two, and then these two are negated completely, so... I mean, if they have any burn, like, it's really bad for us. But if they want to spend their turn drawing a card and getting it to a life, it's okay. We basically, we're basically we basically at five turns to either win or get rid of our own Serendipity Freet. One, two, three, four, five... I assume you just block here, which is fine. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. I don't know if this is correct. Because I really want, I do want to get rid of this, but we're not going to be able to with Marsh Casualties. They also do have a blue up. 
There's also five black here. One, two, three, four. We don't have to do everything. So I'm going to Baleful Strix first. That's exciting. We could fight with fire our own guy here. <laughs> yeah, I think this is okay. We can get rid of the marsh casualties. I just wanted to do it with um with the two with the two mana instead of the five mana. I'd rather actually keep putting stuff on board. Plus, if they have a blue up, they can just counter the marsh casualties with this. So it's kind of scary if they see that. A lot of people don't see that, actually. But Oh, my God. Keep... I want you to play things. I think they're just trying to run out run out our life total with this. Uh... One, two, three, four, six... Now I'm just going to have to do it. Fingers crossed. Yep, figured as much. A lot of people don't see that. A lot of people do. And they can still get to draw a card, which is pretty brutal. I'm pretty sure there was a turn where we should have done that, and I think uh, I think that might have cost us the game. Four, five, six, seven. If we go, we're gonna go to two, play another land, one, play another land. There's actually a, a turn where we can actually fight with fire, and potentially kill them. Like if we draw land, land. We might have a game. And presuming they don't have any burn spells or haste guys in the meantime. <laughs> okay, just gaining a card. Go to 14. Well, you take four. Go to two. So close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, Marsh Casualties Nucklevy is pretty good here. But that's not what we get back, so I guess we just play the Nucklevy and then just. Hope for the hope for the top deck. <laughs> oh my god, just land. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Just give me a land off the top, dude. I just want to fight with fire their face. Okay, that's not a thing. They can go to twelve and then we can hit them for four in the air. This game is way too close for comfort. Oh, they could just block. They could gain it and block. What does this do? Uh, each can block an additional guy each combat, sure. Oh, but they didn't gain the life. Oh my god, one time. One time, it has to just be a land that comes into play untapped. It's funny because we're not dead. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can exile their two graveyard cards. Flip this guy. 
Like, we literally have to fight with fire our own Siren W Freak now, which is super sad. <sighs> Any land would have just fight with fire them forever. Forever. One, two, three, four, four. We have five blockers. They have one one relevant creature. One irrelevant creature. So they have five relevant creatures. I don't think we can be River Hopo. If we if we actually fight with fire here, I don't think we can actually be Oh my god, it's so close, dude. I can't believe I can't believe it's that close. One, two, three. It's the saddest thing I've ever had to do. Which says a lot. Baleful Strix having Death Touches is, is good. This guy having First Strike is good. This guy being a 4 4 is good. If you want to pay 7 to flip this guy, that's fine. We can just block a Baleful Strix. This being a 1 1's fine. I mean, we could still draw Possessed Scob land and have a pretty good thing <laughs> in terms of. Uh, Fight with fire wind. Oh, that's not what we're trying to do. We are still alive. Actually, we'll get rid of the other guy first. That guy's scarier. Yeah, Duskwatch is pretty tough, but they're just creatures. We're not dead. This game is surprisingly long. Well, that's not nothing. Creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield. Ooh, we can target our Serendipity Freight. Actually, we'll keep a, a swamp untapped because that's the land we'd probably want to uh, put the counters on. So if they find a way to kill this guy. One, two, three, activate. They're drawing like three cards a turn. Oh boy. Druid's familiar. Uh if we if, if they attack with experiment one, we're just gonna block and then remove the counters for after first strike damage, so I'm not too concerned with that. If they bond it with Druid's familiar though. That's another story. <sighs> Anticlimactic. <laughs> sure. All right. On that note, that'll do. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. That was a pretty fun outing of the first uh, Uncommon Cube we've done. Um, I'm going to get out of here for now and get some food. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. as usual. So make sure you uh, set your watches or alarms or whatever you guys want to do for that. And uh, I'll see you guys at 2 p.m. Eastern. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check out my Patreon page at .com slash Frank And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.